Welcome to Revital Reintegration Services. Revital Reintegration Services is a nonprofit organization that provides support programs for people exiting correctional institutions. We also provide support for individuals who have received non imprisonment sentences and are looking for guidance to determine their next steps. What do we do? We help clients find long-term housing. We help clients find long-term employment and develop high-demand occupational skills. We aim to enhance knowledge and learning capacity through free workshops, webinars, and vocational skills courses. We encourage and foster positive mental and physical health. Our one-of-a-kind counseling ship program provides free informal counseling and connections with lived experienced mentors for guidance. We help clients to become independent and self-sufficient through our free everyday living assistance programs and workshops. We utilize a holistic and culturally informed approach to encourage positive internal and external transformation. Don't hesitate. Connect now. Let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Revital Reintegration Services' first live stream. My name is Jasmine Julian, and I am the founder president and CEO of Revital Reintegration Services. My team and I are excited to have you join us this evening as we introduce Revital to you. Revital is the year is years of development, research and learning and we are excited to share all that we have put together with you tonight. So, before we get started, we want to take a moment to reflect upon Indigenous communities in Canada. Over the past few months, many Canadians have had their eyes opened to Canada's legacy of colonialism and the horrors of residential schools. Revitaled is an organization that focuses on supporting those who have come in contact with the criminal justice system. And unfortunately, Indigenous populations come into contact with the justice system at significantly higher rates when compared to those of other racial and ethnic backgrounds. Although residential schools are now closed, Indigenous populations continue to be subjected to systemic racism, marginalization, colonialism, all through unjust policing practices and over-incarceration. We encourage everyone to join us in this moment of reflection as we create space, or as we strive to create space for Indigenous populations. Revital Reintegration Services acknowledges that the land we are on in Durham Region forms a part of the traditional territory of the Mississaugas and the territory that is covered under the Williams Treaty. We are thankful to be welcomed on these lands of the people of the Mississaugas of Scugok Island First Nation in friendship. We respectfully acknowledge that the history of these lands is scarred by the mistreatment of Indigenous people. We dutifully recognize our responsibility to work together with Indigenous communities to achieve reconciliation, unity, and equity. So as we shared in the video at the beginning of this presentation, Revital Reintegration Services is a nonprofit organization based in Durham Region that provides support programs and services as well to help individuals exiting correctional institutions so that they're able to successfully reintegrate back into society. We also provide support for individuals who have received sentences and are looking for guidance to determine their next steps. At Revitaled, we believe in second chances and the significance of redemption and forgiveness are deeply rooted in our history, which is something that we will talk about in just a brief moment. Um, what distinguishes Revital is that we focus on positive and holistic transformation in all of our clients. We are the first organization of its kind in Durham Region, as we offer holistic post-incarceration reintegration services and operate from a culturally informed lens. 
as a small team, we are able to give each client the attention and focus that they need so that they are able to rebuild their lives and achieve the goals that they strive to achieve. So I've had the chance to introduce myself to you all. I will now hand over the floor to Chetty and Tashana so that they're able to introduce themselves to you as well. Hi there, my name is Tashana. I am the Administrative Manager with Revitaled Reintegration Services. And as you can see there, I have a degree in psychology and a diploma in, in the Executive Office Administration. And I share uh, the sentiments of our founder um, that uh, with faith and determination, um, real change can happen. And that's what we're trying to do with the clients that come to visit us at Revitaled. Thank you. I'll hand over to Chetty or direct, uh, Director of Operations. Hi there, my name is Chetty Julian. I am the Director of Operations here with Vital Integration Services. I, am, I hold a, a certificate in Google uh, Digital Marketing. I'm also a pastor and um, has been in the business uh, field for over 20 years and also counseling ship. So I am here at Revival to help you all out with the counseling and uh, anywhere else you'll need me. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Hedy and Tashana. I'm going to go to the next slide. I want to talk about our history. Um, so in my opinion, I feel like there were a lot of factors that led to the creation of Revital. Uh, first, noticing the lack of resources and the gaps in services that were available in Durham region. In my former line of work, I worked with disadvantaged communities, and I noticed that there were essentially no post-incarceration services in Durham region. I mean, there was a presence of some, but the ones that were available did not utilize a holistic or culturally informed approach in the services that were delivered, nor were they considerate of the intersectionalities of individuals, which I find alarming because um, if we look at statistics and data, in some cases, it's social factors such as race or immigration status, for example, that cause someone or lead someone to get in contact with the law or um, with the criminal justice system. These factors also play an important role in the reintegration process because um, they affect one's ability to access resources that can help them successfully reintegrate. Um, additionally, or, or secondly, I also want to take a time to really explain what holistic services me mean um, to me and to my team, I'm assuming, as well. Um, not only are we talking about the services that consider the intersectionality of social and identifying factors of individuals, but I'm also referring to services that support the whole person, not just one area of need. I'm referring to providing services that address the physical, the emotional, the social, the spiritual well-being as well, because needs, growth, transformation, they occur in all areas. And I think that's one of the reasons, again, what led to Revital, be able, being able to provide services that support the whole person, that I feel like that's really crucial when talking about one's ability to, you know, successfully reintegrate and to achieve the goals that they're trying to achieve as well. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Chetty or Tashana. I'm not sure if either one of you guys have any ideas other uh, personal feelings as to how we got to this point, but feel free to share. Absolutely. Again, I agree with our, our founder. Um, when we're dealing with clients, we have to understand the background that they're, they're coming from, um, this restrictive background that they're coming from, and um, not being able to function appropriately or properly. Um, and so Revital's here to help them transition back into some kind of normalcy. Um, holistic is definitely what they need because there's so many different aspects of a person. We have to look at what got them in the situation in the first place, their experiences while they were incarcerated, and now the 
the changes that they're facing. So absolutely, holistic is, is the route to take. And that's exactly what Revital is all about. My apologies, I was on mute. Oh, I'm sorry, my apologies, I was on mute again. Um, we're gonna talk about our goals now and I'm gonna hand it over to, to Shauna. Thank you. So the goals of Revital Reintegration Services um, is stem from a passion of helping people. Our team's core belief is that everyone deserves a second chance. And um, we have, we've been part of many conversations where um, we've heard uh, folks say that, um, you know, it was a dumb mistake, or I, I was there, but, you know, I wasn't the one that did it, or, you know, um, I could take that moment back. Uh, we've heard those stories in local church groups and in other community groups that we've been a part of. And so we understand that that one bad moment, one bad decision is life altering. And that the, the goal of revital uh, reintegration services is to help that transition, to help those who've made those mistakes, um, help them rebuild their life, um, hopefully uh, regain some self value because we do understand um, the way you view yourself reflects in your everyday life and the actions that you take in, in, in your life. If you have a positive view of yourself, then you tend to gravitate toward positive things. Negative view, you're going to gravitate toward negative things. Um, and so we want our clients to, to regain that self-value, um, that self-worth, um, and that's the goal of, of Revital. Jasmine? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Shoshana. All right, so in our attempts to accomplish our goals, we have a series of programs that we are offering to our clients. I'm gonna hand it over to Chetty to talk about our first program, our counseling program. Yes, uh, thank you very much again for the opportunity again. So uh, our nonprofit organization is uh, was designed and built are by our team to restore, to give hope, and to change the mindset of our of the releases. Uh, we do understand that um, not everyone who has been convicted is guilty of that crime, and um, we know that whenever you get uh, charged with a with a crime or an offense, it's really hard for you to get back in society. It's really hard for you to fit back in and to get into organization and stuff like schools and you know, gyms and wards and stuff. So this is why we are actually here to try to help you get back on your feet, to try to help you get back to the standards of living, to gain, again, the respect and the trust of our community and our village and our local organizations and so forth. So we are actually here to um, help you in any way, any way possible, uh, any way possible. So um, uh, yeah, I will, and our, our counseling ship is, um, is uh, basically going to help you learn um, your mistakes. It's going to help you identify your mistakes and the mistakes that you previously made and the ones that you're about to do. We are going to help you to fit in back to the, the standards of living, going to help you fit back into the, the community. We're going to gain the trust again of the community and we're going to help you any way we can. Uh, so, uh, socially, mentally, physically, any way we can to help you to get your mindset back, to get your strength back, to get your feedback. Over. This is why the reason why we're here. So uh, once again, we are all yours. We are all yours. I'm gonna hand it over back to Jasmine. Excellent, thank you so much, Chetty. And I will just add on that Chetty is not only our operations director, but he's also our counseling lead. And he will be leading our informal counseling ship program. Um, our informal counseling ship pro program um, will take place through optional one-on-one -on -one sessions, optional faith-based counseling, uh, support groups, and mentorship with lived experienced mentors. So that's all encompassing. That's all part of our informal counseling program. And in time, we will be launching a formal counseling program where our justice service worker, sorry, our justice service worker 
will provide informal counseling and free psychotherapy sessions for all of our clients who would like to participate in this program. So again, thank you, Chetty. I will head on to our next program, which is our housing support program, and I'll hand it over to Tishana to talk about that. Thank you, Jasmine. So our housing program support program is one of our biggest challenges. The housing, um, uh, finding housing for releases is one of the biggest challenges that we have. Um, no housing means compounded challenges for um, our releases. Um, without um, housing, it's difficult to find work. Without um, work, you cannot support yourself. So it's a, it's a compounding situation um, that uh, they face. Um, and of course, without proper job to support yourself, we know that releases will tend to gravitate back to an unhealthy lifestyle. And that is not what we want. We want proper housing because that means work, proper self-evaluation, positive self-evaluation, which also means a healthy life and a healthy future. That is what Revival Reintegration Services wants to create. And to help facilitate that transition, uh, we're excited about uh, th that journey. Our program is designed to help clients um, with the on ongoing housing search. So we want to assist them with connecting with landlords, we want to assist them um, by advocating for them, helping them to understand their rights, help them through the searches, the online searches that they're going to do. If they need to go out and view the properties, we want to help them su support them there as well. So it's all about getting them proper housing so that they can move forward to getting um, a job, a proper job, and also move forward in earning a proper income so that they can, again, get their lives back on track and in a positive way. That's the reason why we created Revital Reintegration Services. Jasmine? Excellent, thank you so much, Shoshana. I am going to talk about our third stream of programming, our employment support program. Um, and as Tashana said, housing, employment, they go hand in hand. They're very crucial parts of the reintegration process. So we are so fortunate to have developed partnerships with organizations who are willing to work with us to help releasees uh, and our other clients get back on track and get that employment piece um, secured. Um, as I said before, we have partnerships with employment agencies that are well-versed and have experienced working with formerly incarcerated individuals, such as VPI Working Solutions, uh, YMCA, and even Durham Region's Unemployment Help Center. We even have a partnership in the works to provide apprenticeships and job skills training for individuals. What we hope to do in-house with our employment support program is provide our clients with job skills training, interview skills and coaching, uh, workshops as well in regarding interview skills, uh, resume building workshops, and also assist clients in the job search process. In our employment focused workshops, we want to be able to discuss topics such as disclosing your criminal history. You know, how do you do that? Uh, networking, what is that? Why is it important? And why should I be developing professional relationships as well? Um, in time, we hope to also host in-house trade and soft skills courses with certification for clients to be able to work towards a resume boosting accomplishment. All right, and our fourth and final stream uh, at this time is also our everyday living assistance uh, programs. So for people exiting correctional facilities specifically, they do need a lot of guidance to do the things that we would be, or we would consider mundane and routine. Um, a colleague of mine who works with individuals within correctional facilities, she told me that she worked with a newly released client who was incarcerated for so long that they didn't even know how to flush a toilet. So again, because these individuals are locked in, you know, detention centers or uh, prisons for so long, they're told what to do, how to do it, when to do it, how frequently they need to be doing it. Um, so they don't have a lot of independence when they're in these facilities. So when they exit these facilities and they're given, you know, all of their independence back essentially in some cases, they don't know how to use that independent 
independence productively and positively. So what we want to do with our everyday living assistance programs is help individuals to gain those basic skills so that they're able to make positive small choices that will lead to you know overall productivity overall positivity and you know independence that can help them to achieve their goals i'm going to invite tashana and chetty to you know share their thoughts on this as well and you know how our everyday living assistance programs work absolutely and so in regards to um what my my colleague said um we have workshops and webinars set up to to assist our clients um just referring back to what she said again there they've been um in these restrictive uh situations for so long that when given freedom it's it's difficult for them to function um because they they've been you know told pretty much uh, having someone in control of their lives so some simple things that we take for granted um, will have to be reinforced with some of our clients and we understand that simple things as nutrition so we want to teach workshops and webinars on how to eat healthy um, because that is not one of the first things that you know comes to mind when when they're released right it's about finding jobs finding housing but proper nutrition is also important so we want to um, create um, webinars and, and workshops to teach them how to, to eat healthy um, communication again coming from the background some of our clients are, are coming from um, positive communication is not something that they they are around and they 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 they, they feel every day or hear every day so we want to teach them how to properly communicate with people you know if you know they're upset about something how to to, to get a hold of, of those you know emotions um, tone that down and again properly and positively communicate with with people um, finances um, simple things as you know going to the bank some of these um, clients um, don't have that kind of experience. So um, opening a bank account is something that we want to do with them as well. Um, teaching them uh, how to go, helping them get through that process of getting the account or investments, how to invest, what to invest in. Positive um, relationship with, with money. Um, technology, again, some of our, our clients have been incarcerated for so long that, you know, we know technology changes pretty much every month, something new is coming out. So we want to get them familiar with simple things as technology or using a bank machine. Um, so we do understand that the, the needs of our clients are going to vary. Um, and that's why we take this holistic approach very seriously, because we want to connect with all aspects of our individual, what their needs are and how best uh, we can help them. And that's, that's something really exciting for us here at Revital. Excellent. I completely agree. Thank you so much, Shoshana. Um, all right, we're going to move on to the intake process. So how does our intake process work? If you're interested in registering for one of our programs, you know, we're going to walk you through the process right now. So the first step of our intake process is referrals. Our program participants are mostly self-referrals. However, we do receive referrals from partners working in corrections. So that's probation officers, parole officers, as well as social workers, community workers, doctors, lawyers, after, absolutely anybody can be a refer, referral in this case. So uh, the second step of our intake process is, um, or sorry, yes, the second step of our intake process is the intake and assessment. Uh, portion. So intake can be completed online, over the phone, or in person with a program facilitator. So we understand that our clients may not have access to the resources that they need to register for our programs or to complete the intake process, which is why we have multiple avenues so that you're able to still connect with us and still receive the support that you need. The purpose of this intake process is to, to determine program eligibility and to assess whether or not our programs are best suited for the referred client's needs. Um, so after you complete the intake form, we will review it. And if you are found um, not to be eligible for our programs, or if your needs are beyond the scope of programs that we offer at Revitaled, 
we will not leave you in the wind. We will definitely connect you with one of our partnered organizations, uh, the best possible partner, uh, depending on your needs, so that you are able to receive long-term support. So if you are found eligible for our uh, programs, then we will uh, follow up with you within 48 to 72 business, business hours. And um, I'm going to hand it over to Chetty or to Shana to continue talking about our intake process. Thank you, Jasmine. Um, so with our um, after our intake process um, that our clients come to see us, we do require a 48 hour, uh, 48 hour to 72 hour um, timeline to process those referrals because it's, it will be a lot of information to go through. The vetting process is, is quite um, stringent. So we need to determine um, what's the best course of action, how we can best assist um, our clients and what stream to place them in, whether it's housing, um, employment or um, mental health. Um, and the, our client might fall into more than one of these streams. So uh, we do need some time to actually process and go through all of that, that data. Um, then we will need our clients to have that more one-on-one, that one -on -one, more in-depth, conversation again to understand what is it that you need from revital what are the struggles that you're having um how best what programs we can place you in who we can connect you with what resource we can connect you with in order to assist you um that is the next step and that's what that one-on-one -on -one conversation is all about so for example if it's the housing support that you need um, we need to get you in touch with you know a, a way for you to our clients to um get on the internet, access uh, some places that's for rentals, go through that process with them. Um, that is the, that's the intake, uh, sorry, the, after the intake, that is the, the next step. So after we go through all of that, our clients with us for a while, we're going through um, their program, they're um, meeting with their, their, their team leads, whether it's the counseling or the, the employment or the, the housing need, they're going through all of that process. We're having conversations with them throughout that process. Um, we're, we're realizing that, you know, it is working. They're doing their self-assessment as well. Um, the program is working for them. If they need a job, now they found a job. If they needed housing, now they've got proper housing. Um, the program is working. Now we're moving forward to the discharge um, section of our program with Revito. So the discharge uh, process, um, there is uh, a comparison between the pre and the post assessment, also the self assessments that the, the clients are doing. So all of that is being recorded, all of that data is being looked at, they're meeting with their counselors, all of that consultation notes is, is also being um, looked at, um, where we realize that now the, the program did work for this particular um, client, uh, they are ready to move forward. Um, we give our recommendations, of course, but the, the final decision, ultimate decision, belongs to the client as to whether or not they want to stay with the program or if they want to, to be discharged from the program. If they decide that they want to stay with us, absolutely, we can continue with the process because we know that's going to help them further whatever it is that they need to, to work on um, in their lives. And if, again, if it's they're ready for discharge and that's their decision to move forward and, and be discharged from a program, then there's the option to do that as well. So um, it's, it's a long process, it's a stringent process, but it's the best process um, we know for our clients because in the in the end the ultimate goal is for them to be self-reliant functioning happy um and that's that's the goal of revital jasmine absolutely thank you so much shoshana uh and we have come to the end of our presentation um as you can see on the screen there's multiple ways to get in touch with us you can call us at this number here. Um, you can also visit our website, www.revital.ca. Our website also has the intake process flow chart that was on the previous slide. So you can have access to that, review it, see if this is something that would work for you. If you have any questions about that or absolutely anything that we've discussed here or about Revital in general, we just want to have a chat with us. You can also send us an email as well. As you can see, we are on Facebook, 
So you can also follow us on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn as well, and also on YouTube. And on YouTube, we will be posting this video along with some of our other resources, uh, past web workshops and webinars, and absolutely everything that we do. Um, you can find that there as well. Uh, in terms of what's next for us, well, we're officially open for business. So again, if you want to get in touch with us, uh, you can do so and um, we'll uh, start the intake process with you or answer your questions. Uh, up next, we have a webinar next month in September. Uh, date is to be determined, uh, but it will be on positive communication and building healthy relationships. So if you follow us or you haven't followed us, haven't followed us as yet, please do so because uh, that is the best way to find out when this webinar will be happening, when it's going to be posted online for you to review. Um, and if I missed anything, Tashana or Chetty, please jump in at this time. We just want to thank you, uh, first of all, for joining us for our first um, session. Um, we do appreciate um, your support. Um, um, we hope that if you do know of anyone that does need support in any way, mm -hmm. you can send them our way to um, even just have a conversation with the staff at Revitaled. Uh, again, we want to thank you and um, we hope that uh, we can hear from you. Any comments? Absolutely. We're welcome to hear them. And um, I just want to leave with us um, that we all need a second chance. We do know that we all need a second chance. I, my opinion, I strongly believe that there is nobody on the face of the earth who have been to a point where they have not need, need somebody. We know that everybody needs a chance, one person, one chance, just this one person, just to fight for them, to give them that last chance. Here at Revital Integration Services, we have the, 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 the forms that you need to get to achieve that second chance in life. We here to give you that second chance. We have to fight for you to give you that second chance. So don't hesitate to connect with us. We are here for you. We are on your side. Absolutely. Thank you so much, for both of you, uh, for all your hard work that you're putting into this. Uh, thank you for being here today. And thank you as well for being here today with us. Uh, please share this video. Again, share information about Revital. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us and have a great rest of your evening. Good night.